Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be reviewing the new Porsche Panamera. Before we get into this video, I'm gonna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Porsche Salt Lake City for giving me some time with this Panamera. This particular one is available for sale for the time being. So if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. If you have any questions or need any help on this Panamera or any of the Porsche product, if you're looking to order a new Porsche product as well, just ask for Matt Hentry. I'll just include his name in the description down below next to the website link and then as always link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well let's get into it under the hood we have a turbocharged 2.9 liter v6 that goes through an 8-speed automatic transmission Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 25 on the highway with power outputs being 348 horsepower and then 368 pound feet of torque now before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, just like other modern Porsches, they've kind of made the design a little bit boxier, which I think looks really cool. So you can see these distinctive lines there, of course, Porsche emblem front and center. But look at the headlight design, the whole cluster and everything. It's less rounded off compared to Porsches in the past and kind of, it, it's almost a... Uh, Again, a little bit more rectangular in a way, but I think it looks cool overall. And then you guys can see the light down below. It's also another nice part of the design. And then I like how this is all blacked out in that little slit right there. I think that looks really sharp too. Putting it all together, the front end of the new Panamera definitely looks a little bit more modern. I like it. Now we're on the side here. Our turn wheel setup is 275, 35, 21 in the front, and then 325, 30, 21 in the rear. So a slightly staggered setup. And then with the wheels, you've got the silver here on the top, but then notice how it's metallic gray there in the center. And I like the offset color there with the brake caliper. I think that adds to the flare of this Panamera. And then this is really cool, just like on the Taycan, you've got like a little cut there in the fender. And then if you take a few steps back, you can see the silver trim around the windows. But here's your full side profile. And again, this side profile, especially in the back end, it's, it reminds me of the new Taycan. Now, taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function. We got the Porsche emblem, and then you can see the opening for the trunk. And popping into said trunk, you can see the coloration on the floor mats, and it actually matches with the cargo cover too, which is really cool. Uh, we also have a little bit more space underneath. But yeah, this is a hatchback, so the opening is very large, which makes practicality great. And then they have this right here where you can lock it. Uh, you can also press that, and that will just lower the hatch down. Now taking a look at the taillights, again really cool with the kind of effect there on the lights themselves, but you can see it goes all the way across. That's the new Porsche thing is to do a light bar on their cars. You can see the Porsche emblem, Panamera 4 to signify the model. And I love the covers over the exhaust tips, those look great. And yeah, it really does remind me of the Taycan here with the rest of the back end. I mean, look at that. That's cool looking. Taking a look at the door panel, really nice trim here at the top and different coloration down below. I've got kind of more of this like cream color. I like this too, how it's all soft touch on the door panel, even down here. That's surprising, yeah. So it has a very premium feel overall. And I like how the handle goes across. That's really cool. And look at these seats. You can see they're perforated all down the center portion. The room back here is great. Uh, you can see we've got the little vent. We've got some more vents here. We've got our own climate zone in the rear as well. And again, yeah, these seats are actually really comfortable. I just noticed we have a sunroof here in the back too. And then headroom back here, it's, I mean, I got, it's, it's a little bit more tight, but it's not bad. Now take a look at the front door panel. Again, really nice trim here at the top. And I like the black trim down below that holds the door handle. And then you can see again with the soft touch on the stitching, very tight fit and finish by the way. All of our window controls, you got your mirror adjustments, the mirrors do power fold in. This also comes with memory seats. We have blind spot monitoring, Panamera 4 again to signify the model. And look at the front seat here, perforated all down the center. All of our adjustments on the side, there's quite a few of them. Really nice pedal layout here. And then you can see for the light controls, a little bit of it. The engine stop start there and then again that trim that's in the top of the door panel also goes across the dash so it actually look at that it matches all across that's really cool now 
Now taking a look at the steering wheel, uh, same coloration as what you have on the top trim, which makes everything just pull together a little bit more. Paddle shifters here in the back, You've got practical controls in the front. I like the drive mode select. You twist that little dial, that's fun. And then you have a bunch of stocks on the back in normal Porsche fashion. So the gauge cluster is fully digital, so that makes it more customizable, but it still has the normal Porsche layout with the RPMs front and center. And then this is cool when you change the drive mode. It kind of goes, swoops from one side to the other. We do have a 360 camera system. <laughs> I love how you've got all the different little cameras here that you can click to see the different views here of the car. Uh, very helpful because this is a pretty big vehicle lengthwise, so it's nice to have all of those cameras. And then as for the infotainment system, super quick response time. It's easy to use. Everything's pretty straightforward. So like if I want to do vehicle stuff, pop into the vehicle tab. You can see I can adjust things, including the suspension level. It does have adjustable suspension, which is another nice thing to have on uh, anything that's not an SUV or a truck because, you know, steep driveways and all that are a thing. I do like the whole shifter situation. I think that's pretty cool. And then you can see down below, these are actually uh, where airflow comes out of. So it's very interesting, I guess, look or design for a vent, if you ask me. And then we do have some physical buttons for like the climate controls on this panel. Heated, cooled seats. You got your volume control there as well. And then this is just some storage or, you know, wireless phone charging pad, depending on what you're going to be using it for. It's interesting with the click back function. Some cup holders. And then this is cool. It's center console. Good storage. I like the wood. There's wood trim throughout. That's really nice with the kind of grainy finish. Nice trim here on the top of the center console too. Now I don't know how well this is going to pop up onto camera, but there is a passenger screen as well. So they kind of get their own infotainment system, which kind of adds to the techiness of the Panamera. And then again, more really nice trim down below with the wood trim there. Yeah, look, look at that. So you can see the wood trim a little bit better they kind of they kind of hide the wood trim with this so it uh i don't know it's it's nice it's, it's just like the right amount um and of course really nice trim all across the dash and then we do have another sunroof up front and then we've got cream colored headliner to match the seats and all of that so here's our window sticker for this panamera 4 uh base msrp just over 106k or just under 107k rather we do have quite a few options on this including the really nice leather interior that it has but total MSRP after all options, $133,070. Let's see how the new Panamera drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here is your visibility over the hood and helping you see the heads-up display. Both of the mirrors. And then throughout the rest of the rear. This is pretty good for being a kind of lower to the ground, kind of like a sports car feel. Speaking of cool cars, they have an RS6. You know, being a Porsche dealership, they get really cool trade-ins as well. But... Let us see how the car recommended by doctors, <laughs> or rather driven by doctors, right, <laughs> drives. I mean, seriously, every single time I go to like the dentist or, you know, if you get like a blood draw or whatever, there's always at least one of these in the parking lot. So initially setting off, side belt, the seat, side belt, seat belt like tightened right away. That was cool. Right quality's nice. I go over these bumps and everything. Gonna have to adjust the steering wheel. Good thing we're going down a road that not a lot of people drive down so we can do that. This car, I feel very low to the ground. I feel like I'm in a sports car in the Panamera. Yeah, at least it's easy to adjust things. But yeah, it's got that, um, you know, when you're in most, so like SUVs and regular cars, you kind of sit up higher in the car. This, on the other hand, I mean, it's got a pretty sloped roof and I've got tons of headroom above me because I'm the seats placed pretty, pretty low into the car. It's 
super, the powertrain's super smooth too. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice drive. And sound insulation is pretty good. I mean, it's not necessarily the best test <laughs> right now because we're not going super quick and it's not too windy today, but you know, we are in the city and it can be sometimes louder here. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, this is a, I, I can understand this way, you know, people that have, you know, like doctors that have a high stress job like something like this, cause it's just, it's just comfortable. It's a good, it's a good luxury car. Pop it into the sport mode. It's gonna automatically lower the suspension when you go into sport mode. Ooh, I just saw a car crash. Wow. Ooh, transmission's just boom. Get a better acceleration here in a second. So far, quite impressive. Ooh. Yeah, the new tune on this V6 is solid. They got a little bit more power for this year. And I mean, I was I was a little bit uh, concerned. I was like, man, is this gonna be enough power for this size of car? And again, Porsche horsepower. It just feels more powerful than what you see on paper. It's it's really quick again, especially for the size of car it is and all that. So, to sum things up, with the new Panamera Four, I think it look, or just the Panamera, I should say rather. This just happens to be a Panamera Four. I think it looks really cool. It looks like that's the previous version. Yeah, they've cleaned it up a little bit now. Just just looking at the previous gen, they've cleaned up the design a little bit, made it. Um, I mean, just looking at the, I mean, a lot of the body lines are very similar, but yeah, just looking at some of the cuts there and, and how the grill is and everything. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this, the new Panamera design, or if you like the previous gen more, but overall, regardless, really nice car. It's got luxury and sports at it. Um, and a very nice pairing that's kind of hard to hard to do in the car industry but Porsche manages to do it well in this car